How's it going guys? Welcome back to Supreme Tennis. And firstly, apologies for my ridiculous tan lines. Secondly, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. We'd love to get 300 likes on this video. And yeah, we appreciate all of your support. Now let's discuss what this video will be about and how you as a viewer can benefit from this video lesson. Well, firstly, it's for you beginners and improvers out there. A beginner being someone completely new to the sport of tennis and then an improver who has some but very little experience on court. And here are the four areas we are gonna cover on the forehand. So we're gonna look at the loop and the build-up phase, the use of your non-dominant hand, the contact zone, and then the follow-through. And you will gain the following as a result. So more consistency, you're gonna get more power on your forehand, you're gonna get a lot more control and stability, and most importantly, you're gonna gain style points as well. Now, if you're struggling with any or all of these things, make sure to stay until the end of the video for the most important tip of them all. So this is where we started with Claudia and you can see it needs a lot of work. You can see these balls aren't really finding the court. She's hitting too close to her body. Her strings are open at contact and there's just very little control overall. She's not too sure what to do with her left arm. And this is crucial when it comes to the overall shape of the shot. And we're gonna discuss this in more detail a bit later in the video. Okay, so in a previous video with Claudia on her backhand, we worked on a similar drill to this one, actually pretty much the same, just on her forehand side. And the aim is to just guide the ball straight down the tram line by extending through contact. A lot of coaches like to focus on the contact point. I find placing too much emphasis on the point of contact can sometimes take away from the fluidity of the stroke. It doesn't look as smooth sometimes when you, when you talk about the contact point too much. I prefer the term contact zone. And you can see that I'm getting her to strike through the ball and hold on the finish with a straight arm. This path through the ball is what we call the contact zone. As we progress through the lesson, we will of course add the follow through. It's just very important to find this extended arm as it helps with both power and control. All the pros will find this position too. Okay, now it's time to add that follow through and get her forehand looking a little bit more complete. Again, you may have seen something similar in a previous video. Claudia is gonna hold that extension out for a split second, and then when the ball bounces on the other side of the court, she will wrap around and finish. So we are completing the swing in two separate parts. And what I'm just explaining here is to add a little bit more rotation when she completes that follow through. So what she was doing before is she was just sort of bending her arms, but I want a little bit more rotation as she starts to wrap the racket around and it's the hips and the shoulders where all that power comes from. So I just want that little bit extra at the end here. And then also I noticed with that extra bit of rotation that we added on the follow through, her head was turning too. So I'm just getting her to keep her head very still through contact, keep her eyes on the ball as it travels over the net and have her chin meet her right shoulder at the end of the follow through. You wanna try and keep your head very still through contact. It's the heaviest part of your body. You don't wanna lift it. You don't wanna have any sudden jerky movements with your head. Keep your eyes on the ball, follow the path of the ball and have your chin meet your shoulder as you finish here. Okay, Claudia's picking this up very quickly and it's now time to move on to one smooth swing, trying to make it one smooth action. And the key is to make sure that she still finds all four checkpoints on the forehand. So the first checkpoint being the take back, the second being the point of contact, so where the ball meets the strings. The, the third checkpoint is where she fully extends through the ball and this is the part that normally goes missing with a lot of players. And then the fourth and final checkpoint is that finish. And that's why, again, I like to highlight the whole contact zone. So if you look at checkpoint one, two, and three, 
that whole part, that whole phase of the shot is the contact zone. Okay, so she wants to fully hit through the ball and extend her arm all the way through before she finishes. And I want her to this time do it in one smooth swing. Now just a quick fix here to give Claudia a bit more time in the ball and just make her forehand a bit more efficient when she has to deal with faster balls and actually just more efficient in general. Basically I want that loop to be a bit smaller and you can see in the previous drill her hitting hand was always going above shoulder height so this made her loop too big. So I'm just explaining to her to keep the loop a bit smaller and as she starts the turn I want her hand to stay below shoulder height. So she's still doing the loop, but it's a bit smaller and like I said, a bit more efficient this way. Okay, so you can really see the difference already and it's definitely starting to look a lot more complete. Now it's time to find what purpose that left arm serves in all of this. And I want her to just extend her left arm across her body to a point where she's looking over her left shoulder. And this gets Claudia to coil her hips more, it gets her to turn her shoulders, allowing her to get more power and engage more than just the arms. It also serves a secondary purpose of finding the correct distance away from the ball. So as the ball travels towards her, I want Claudia to keep the path of the ball as it comes towards her, that ball path needs to be on the outside of her left hand. And this just ensures that she doesn't get too close to contact, which was a major issue at the start of the lesson. Okay, so we covered a lot of technical points there in just 45 minutes. It's now time for Claudia to give it a go at full pace. And yeah, remember we want 300 likes for this video. Thank you for your continued support and don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions. Hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Hard, 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 hard. That was it.